Hey guys, I'm back again. Okay, so I wanted to come and talk to you guys because, oh yeah, let me tell you about this thing. So this is a headpiece that I got at the beauty supply store for like $7. You can just find it at any beauty supply store. $7. Um, let me tell you guys a little bit about my makeup because I know you're going to ask. I am wearing soft brown eyeshadow by MAC, brown. Um, my eyelashes are by... These are actually the lashes that I showed you guys in my, um, in my haul. These are the KISS lashes. I'm not exactly sure which ones, but you can see. So this is soft brown eyeshadow by MAC, and I'm wearing select select cover-up concealer underneath my eyebrows my eyebrows are done with um what is this Ew, what is it i can't remember my eyebrows oh it's i did my i actually do my eyebrows with dip down it's a gel um liner from mac and my foundation that I'm wearing today is by MAC and it is called the Studio Fix Powder. Studio Fix Compact that I showed you guys in my haul video. My lipstick is Ruby Woo with Russian Red Lip Gloss and Night Moth Lip Liner. I'm getting better guys, I told you. I know I don't usually tell. I usually list everything in the description box, but people don't read the description box. Yeah, so I figured I'd just throw in everything there. Oh, and the um, eyeliner is Black Track by MAC with black point on top of it. I showed you guys the whole video. If you want to know the products and want to see them, you can click the link of the video previously called The Fashion Haul. Okay. So, let's get to the point. So this is actually my dressing room in my apartment. Um, this is where I'm going to be doing all of my recordings, but the room is not actually like set up to perfection yet. Um, so yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of videos with this. My theme for this room was more like breakfast at Tiffany's, you know, like the beautiful, fresh blue, blue and silver, blue and white furniture. I mean, the walls are blue, but it's like that aqua, turquoise, pretty light, fresh blue. And I want everything in this room to be with white furniture, white and silver accents. So that's my theme for this room, Breakfast with Tiffany's. Um, that whole kind of girly, you know, like beautiful Audrey Hepburn kind of chic look. You guys already saw my bedroom, so. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about Christ. Um, I wanna know, like, how's your relationship with Christ going? You know, um, what are some things that you find that hinder you with your relationship with Christ? Um, you know, I wanted to know, you guys, what are your thoughts on this man-made disease ebola that's going on right now because i'm going to tell you guys what i think okay okay so we all know that there's going to be the second coming of christ and he's coming to get us right we all know that now we all know as well some of you may know some of you may not know that the government wants to enforce the new world order right now, in order for the New World Order to go into full effect, I mean, they've been dropping little bits here and there, but in order to go into full effect, they have to have more control over the people. So, Ebola has been around since 19, like 1984, I believe they said. They had it, like, they something to do with they were they had the whole issue with like them testing monkeys and the monkeys got Ebola and it was traveling through the vents and they found out that it was airborne. I mean, you guys do your research, okay? You will find out. 
So it's been around for years, but now there's a different strain. There's a different strain of Ebola that's going on right now. It's more severe and it's way more critical. Okay, I'm watching these videos on YouTube and there's people in Africa, you know, like everywhere just dropping dead. They're just like, it's sad. They have no resources. There's the hospitals in Nigeria and Africa are just like completely full. They can't take any more patients. I live in New York City. And there was a doctor over here in New York City who traveled from those countries into New York City, you know, and he has Ebola and has Ebola and now he's in the hospital in Manhattan, okay? So he was traveling on the train. The train, it's very, very tight. There's no air circulating on the train, okay? Do you know how many people can possibly be infected with Ebola walking around New York City right now? This, I feel like this disease is, of course, I believe that it's man-made by the government to depopulate, this, depopulate the world. The, if the government can depopulate the world, they can get the numbers down to a number that's more controllable. That's what the New World Order is all about. It's all about control. So if they can get depopulation to take place in New York City, and they can, um, once depopulation starts taking control, then they're gonna start quarantining in New York City. Then they're gonna start FEMA, they're gonna rush us to the FEMA camps. And if you guys don't know anything about FEMA camps, then you should look it up, okay? Look up FEMA camps if you don't know anything about them because they have these FEMA camps and FEMA coffins because they have these coffins that are waiting for people like you and I, innocent tax paying citizens that they're waiting to just throw in these coffins so that the New World Order can take into effect and martial law can take into effect. And what's next? They're gonna start asking us to take the mark of the beast or you can't get food and then it's over, okay? So I feel like this disease that's going around is, of course, it's made to depopulate the world and get the numbers down to a more controllable rate all that I'm a believer of Jesus Christ and I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. I'm saved. I got baptized. I'm not perfect. Um, I'm not an angel. I'm not a, a perfect little saint who doesn't sin. I sin every single day, but I thank God for his mercy and his grace because I do not want to go to hell, okay? And I don't want any of you guys out there to go to hell either. So I just want to know, like, where are you guys in your relationship with Christ? Like, what is it? Like, are you guys Christians? You know, like, what is it? Are you Christians? Do you... I just want to know. I just want to know where you are because the world that we're living in right now is absolutely crazy and people are dying every single day like a very popular popular avenue in new york city jamaica avenue um there was a cop and he was taking a picture in front of in front of conways on jamaica avenue this happened I think this happened this week. Yeah, literally this week. He's posting up to take a picture with another cop and this guy walks by and he just, he has an axe. Who is walking on Jamaica Avenue with an axe? And why didn't anybody see this man with an axe? He's, he walks up to the cop and starts slashing him in the head with an axe. I mean, it's going to get worse before it gets good because we all know that there's going to be tribulation and Revelation talks about all of this that's taking place. 
I'm just saying, like, it's really crazy out here. And if we ever needed to pray before, we need to pray more now. Like, it's crazy. Like, I just, I sometimes I think and I'm like, the way the world is right now, am I even going to be able to, am I even going to be alive to see, you know, myself have children and my children have children? Because back in the days, everything seemed so much softer in life and it was just a nice breeze and old people lived to be old. Like, I mean, not old people, but people live to be old. And nowadays, people are just dying young. I don't know. I just feel like we need to pray a lot. And you need to get your life. Like, you need to get your life right. If you don't have it right, you need to get it right. It's just, it's just, it's scary. That's all I feel. I just feel like it's scary. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about a topic. Um, of course, it refers to church. Um, what are your thoughts on tithe and offering? Like, what are your thoughts on it? Because I'm going to read to you guys. Because I pulled up the scripture about tithe. So it says, it's Malachi 3, 8 through 10. Should people cheat God, yet you have cheated me. But you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? You have cheated me in tithe and offering due to me. You are under a curse, for your whole nation has been cheating me. Bring all the tithe into the storehouse, so that there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of Heaven's army, I will open up the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great that you won't have enough room to take it in. Try me and put me to the ring. I wanted to know what you guys thought about that, because ne I've never talked to you guys about that before. And I wanted to know what your opinion I feel like when you tithe, it's like, it's a trust bomb that you have with God. And I feel like God just feels like he can trust you. And it's like, I feel like when you're, when you tithe, when you pay your tithe and offering, I feel like it's like an umbrella over you personally that protects you from everything in this world. And what I mean by that is like, when you pay your tithe and offering, it's like if you need something from God, it's kind of like a demand that he, not saying that he won't do it for you if you're not a tither and someone who pays offerings, but when you pay your tithe and offering, you have God, you have every right to demand something from God because it's like, it says, you know, will a man rob God? Where has he robbed?